Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED laptop has been out for a little bit of time, a 15.6 inch 2K display, OLED 120 hertz. It's a really well-designed laptop, and now there's a special edition of it. Asus teamed up with a bathing ape, which is a very well-known streetwear uh, fashion company. They have collaborated on a special edition of this laptop and not just the laptop, but also accessories like a mouse, a carrying case figurine, and more. So I'm really excited to show off what Asus and a bathing ape or bape has done with this laptop. Let's get started. Let's begin unboxing the Asus Vivo book right away. The laptop box is themed Intel inside. We're gonna take this out very quickly. Before we check out the Vivo book S15 OLED, let's check out the carry bag for it. And there it is. Look at that. So unique. Um, it kind of matches the box for the laptop as well as the camo and the different figurines. I'd also like to point out there's some handles up towards the top. So it's more of a carrying case, not only just going to protect your laptop, but stylishly be able to carry it right here. And on the other side, you've got some pouches for maybe your charger and just some other items, anything you want, maybe some pens on the side. So we are gonna set the carry bag to the side for now and continue through with our Vivo book unboxing. Opening up the box, we have our Vivo book S, but also that figurine, the Asus Vivo book, a bathing ape, figurine right here. I, I, I love it. I just love these themed tech items. Whenever there's a collab going on, I, I'm just all in. Not only that, we are going to set our laptop to the side for just a second, continue through. First things first, warranty information, getting started guide. You also have some BAPE stickers, plus some keyboard stickers as well. So you can fully customize the keyboard on this laptop with these stickers and even the outside of the laptop. You have your charging cable that connects to the charging brick, which is 90 watts with a proprietary connection for the laptop. And that's not it. Asus VivoBook, a bathing ape, flipping it over the marshmallow mouse. So a Bluetooth mouse, let's open it up. Opening it up, there is the mouse with that iconic camo pattern. Let's take off the plastic so you have a better look at this mouse. I, I love it. I just love these theme tech items. And down at the bottom, it is uh, fully Bluetooth right there. We can connect it a little bit later. Scroll wheel, right and left button. Ooh, a little soft buttons right there. Very comfortable to press. So we'll connect this to our laptop a little bit later on. Wait, that's not it. There's an extra plate for the mouse. So these are replaceable. So you can just pop it right on off and replace it with a different one. Honestly, I would go with the camo, but nice you get the choice. I'm not quite done, nice they include a battery. There's a USB type A dongle right there, plus a strap to carry the mouse. Let's pop this back on, there we go. And you can have the strap to help you carry it. By the way, this carry bag has unique patterns co-created by BAPE and the ASUS Design Center. We'll take a closer look at those, but I actually want to show off this figurine because there's something really cool about it. So this is the unique Milo figurine. First of all, Milo is just a super cute figurine overall, their head left and right. Also, they've got a couple slots in their hands because it comes with a custom Asus VivoBook, a bathing ape laptop. Look at this. It's got a screen, keyboard, touchpad because it will fit right in Milo's hands. Milo is just using our laptop like so. Check that out. I, I, I love this. Just super creative overall. There we go reading some emails left and right, or maybe watching one of my videos. Who knows, Milo, Milo, Milo knows the good YouTube videos. <laughs> Anyways, just, I, I, I love it. 
So it's time to be like Milo and actually check out the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED, the custom laptop. So it doesn't just stop with these extras. Let's get into it. As usual, peeling the plastic off. Here is, oh my gosh, I, I love this somewhat subtle design. First off, this metallic lid is so thoughtfully designed. It has a linear camo design that's been precisely photo light etched along with the baby Milo patterns and Asus VivoBook naming. Also, the BAPE edition has a reflective PVD process stainless steel logo tag. The bottom of the laptop has some branding and grips, an orange grip right here, arrows in the corners. And as usual, let's do the one-handed test. Flipping open the lid very easily passed. It lifted up just a tiny bit, but nothing crazy. Oh my gosh, check this out. Anyways, I'm gonna boot up the VivoBook S15 OLED, and while it boots up, we're gonna take a closer look at this hardware. Along the left side, we have a USB Type-A slot, status lights, and some ventilation. Also wanna point out, I kind of like the design that they did, making this a separate section. It's not flush with the rest of the laptop. It's just unique and a little bit different. Moving along, you do have a slot here or just something that extends out just a little bit from that lid so you can grab onto it when you open it. And along the right side here, same style, just a separate section for our headphone jack, Thunderbolt, USB Type-C port, USB Type-A port, HDMI port, which is really nice, and then there is uh, our port for charging. Quick look at the back. It does have Asus Vivo Book branding. Here's that custom touchpad, Intel Evo i9 processor. You've got a logo in the bottom right. Sound by Harman Kardon. You do have a full number pad. That enter key has a design over it and an orange escape key. And don't forget, you can fully customize this keyboard to your liking. You don't have to put all the stickers on. Maybe I'll just put T-I-M on the keyboard, who knows? So I love that you can truly customize your own. Also quickly wanna point out that the lid goes all the way back 180 degrees, completely flat, which is great because then you can use it at so many different angles. Anyways, I'm gonna run through the startup process, just talk about anything that's noteworthy. There is a custom logo on the boot animation, I love it. By the way, the power button on the keyboard also couples as a fingerprint scanner that works with Windows. Hello, so I'm just going to lift and rest my finger on that power button. There we go. That's it, we're all set. You do get Windows 11 out of the box. You can use your phone from your PC. Maybe you wanna grab your Asus Zen phone and connect it to your laptop. We are all done with the setup process. Check it out, a custom wallpaper pre-installed Asus VivoBook, a bathing ape with that iconic camo color. I love it. And don't forget, this 15.6 inch OLED panel has a 2880 by 1620 resolution, 120 hertz refresh rate, a million to one contrast ratio, and you have 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. It's Pantone validated, Visa display HDR, True Black 600 certified. It looks incredible. Again, with it being an OLED panel, you see those blacks as they're supposed to be seen. I turned the mouse on, put it in pairing mode, and it found it right away. New Bluetooth mouse found connect. There we go. Our mouse is ready to go. So I will uh, test that out. I really like how soft the buttons are to press. The Asus VivoBook S15 also has a lot of power built into it with the latest Intel Core H series processor, 16 gigs of RAM, plus a one terabyte NVMe SSD. And speaking of that, they do have the My Asus app, which allows you to really customize the performance. Uh, there's a battery care mode, fan profile. If you want performance mode, yes, it's gonna turn the fans up a little bit more. Uh, it's gonna use your battery life a little bit more, but you're gonna get more power out of it. Great if you're going to be playing some games. Audio visual, there's AI noise canceling microphones that you can truly customize. Uh, going down AI noise canceling speakers. Again, those speakers by Harman Kardon. And selecting sound modes, Dolby Atmos with dynamic will identify content and performance automatic adjustments to deliver 
your best sound. There's a volume booster if you want it to get a little bit louder. And OLED cares, so don't worry. It does have a pixel refresh, so you don't really have to think about uh, the OLED panel at all. It will take care of it for you. You have OLED flicker-free dimming when using the panel at lower levels. And of course, ways to truly customize the color. Normal, vivid, you can manually uh, change it. Also, if you want to reduce the blue light, that is an option. Needless to say, there's a ton of different settings, even a dynamic refresh rate, which will help save battery. However, if you'd like to fix it at 60 or 120 hertz, that's also an option. I'm gonna keep mine on dynamic so that it turns the refresh rate down when you know there's no moving parts on the screen. There's camera changes, you have touchpad function key, automatic keyboard backlight, I like that. Auto brighten when the light conditions change. I am a big fan of that. By the way, pretty cool. With that webcam, it has a privacy switch right next to it. I like that as opposed to having it lower. I like it right next to the webcam. Anyways, that is it from me on the Asus VivoBook S15 OLED Bape Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I just love when companies collaborate uh, with fashion brands and really put together something special. Great attention to detail on the laptop itself, plus the included accessories, that figurine, the stickers, the keyboard stickers, uh, even that mouse and carrying case as well. Anyways, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.